Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. I've got a grocery haul for you today. I did a Walmart grocery pickup order. I ran into Kroger and then I also went into Publix. Publix had a few good um, uh, things on sale this week and I wanted to get a couple of those items. So I will show you what I got from all three places and then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. I did spend a little bit more um, this shopping trip, but like with Publix, um, you'll see I got several things that I didn't necessarily need this week, but I will need and so I went ahead and got it while it was on sale. So my total at Walmart was $55.39. However, about $15 of that was for non-food items. So let me show you that. First up, I grabbed some Halloween candy and then this little Halloween plate. And um, like I said, that was 15 of the 55. And then I got some of these um, fajita size little tortillas, some Joseph's pita bread, a couple onions, grabbed some wonton strips, almost completely out of sugar. So I grabbed, uh, I think this is four pound container of that. This is really good. These Asian sesame ginger salad toppings, so yummy. So I grabbed that to put on salads. Got a can of corn, some minced garlic, almost out of cumin. So I grabbed that. Got a couple containers of Greek yogurt some feta cheese, and then I grabbed some sliced Colby Jack cheese and sliced Swiss, sliced Swiss, grabbed a package of eggs, and then for Happy and Peppers food this week, I got sweet potatoes, peas and carrots, and corn, and then just a little um, hint or tip for you, so these rotisserie chickens at my Walmart anyway are six dollars, but if you get a cold one, it's three ninety seven, dollars and so I mean come on, you cannot even buy a whole chicken or, you know, a, a package of chicken breasts or chicken tenders for $3.97. So, um, you know, it's cheaper and it's already cooked. So it's good to like throw in salads, um, you know, quesadillas, that kind of thing. Make quick lunches and dinners throughout the week. So I grabbed that. All right, that is everything from Walmart. Let me get this put away. I'll show you Kroger and then Publix. All right, here is what I got from Kroger. My total was $77.09. So first up, I got a bag of apples. I just grabbed the organic um, gala apples because they were on sale. Grabbed a package of romaine hearts, bag of romaine salad, coleslaw mix, got a bulb of fresh garlic, a few ripe avocados. I needed a bell pepper, but these were actually um, on sale this week for cheaper than a bell pepper, so I'm gonna head and grab those. Grabbed some maple syrup a cucumber, got some cilantro, lemons, limes, a few Roma tomatoes, sweet potatoes, um, what is this? Oh, um, um, it's a pear. I can't remember what kind it is. I think it's maybe anju. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a pear. <laughs> Grab some broccoli crowns, a couple bananas, some green onions, Brussels sprouts, Great tomatoes. And then their Eggo waffles are on digital, um, like weekly coupon. I think they were $2.49. So I grabbed some of the French toast sticks, some spreadable butter. And then, so I've mentioned before on my grocery hauls, and you know, I previously mentioned that I um, do Walmart and then typically will go to Kroger for fresh vegetables um, and, you know, fruits and stuff like that. But the meat this week at Kroger was cheaper than buying it at Walmart. So I went ahead and bought the meat at Kroger this week. Got a package of chicken tenders, some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This was actually the same price at Walmart, uh, but Walmart was out of stock on it. So I went ahead and picked it up at Kroger. And then I got this big pork loin. This will make at least two meals, if not more for us. And they were buy one, get one free. Um, and so it was only half price. So I got this, what is it? 3.33 pounds of pork for right over six dollars which is a really good deal so i'll split that in half and then we'll have two separate meals out of that and each dinner the protein will only be 330 something so that's a really good deal all right this is everything from kroger let me show you publix all right here is what i got at publix and i just want to show you this real quick so my total if you see was 27 dollars and 54 cents but I saved $25.85. So I actually saved more, if you look at my total before taxes, actually saved more than what I spent. So that's why, like I said, I didn't necessarily need all this stuff right now, but I will. 
um, especially with the holidays coming up. And so went ahead and grabbed it while it was on sale. So first up, I've had several people suggest trying this home run um, frozen pizza. This was BOGO this week. And a quick note, um, I live in the Nashville area and at least the public stores near us, when they have a buy one get one free sale, if you only buy one item, it's half price. Now, I do have viewers um, in Florida and they say it's not that way there. Um, you know, you have to get two items to get the sale, but at least here in the Nashville area around me, if you get one, it's half price. So I would say, you know, just check your local sales if you have uh, Publix in the area. Their Campbell's Soup were also BOGO. So I grabbed two of the cream of chicken and mushroom. One can of cream of mushroom and one can of cream of chicken. And then every once in a while, Gary will like, um, likes to have like ice cream or something sweet after dinner. And he loves these drumsticks. So uh, that was BOGO half price. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And I was really excited to see these on BOGO this week. So these are the Momofuku noodles. They are so good. They're like air fried ramen noodles, but they are pricey. Um, in my area, they're usually like 11 to 12 dollars or so so i was really excited to see that on markdown so i grabbed that and then their sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce and you know like their dipping sauces were buy one get one free so i got one of the honey barbecue kins was bogo so i got the light honey mustard and then these um size of dukes was bogo so i went ahead and grabbed that all right that is everything from Publix. let me show you the meal plan here is the meal plan for this upcoming week. So first up, we're gonna do some fish tacos, but we're gonna make them super, super quick and easy using fish sticks, and then some Mexican roasted sweet potatoes. Tuesday night, we're doing a Greek grilled chicken salad with pita croutons. Wednesday night, I have this for us to go like out on a date night. Um, we may do that, we may order something in or just find something from the fridge or pantry to make. Thursday night, we're doing Moroccan chicken and rice with um, zatar roasted carrots. Friday night, our church is having a trunk or treat, so we're going to go there, and they're going to have chili and hot dogs and, you know, all those things, so we'll eat there. Saturday night, I'm going to do salmon bowls with coconut rice and mango salsa with broccoli on the side, and then Sunday night, I'm going to make a maple pork loin with apples and onions mashed sweet potatoes and balsamic and bacon brussels sprouts on the side all right that is the meal plan thank you so much for watching i hope that you liked this video if you did hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i hope you have a great rest of the day thanks so much for watching Bye bye